Hello and welcome to another of Creative Block's two minute tool skills. Today we're going to be looking at Photoshop and specifically the smudge tool. Now you'll find the tool in the tools panel over here alongside the blur and sharpen tools and as the name suggests the smudge tool allows you to smudge tones by dragging from one tone to another just like that. Now if I just undo that, I'm going to bring up my layers panel by hitting F7. I just want to show you how you can create a new empty layer, then sample all layers. If we have this checked up here, then that means that we can smudge on this empty layer here while sampling from those layers underneath, which means that we can use the tool in a non-destructive way, which is quite helpful. Now we also have this setting up here to adjust the strength of the tool. And at the moment we have it set to 44%, but if I just drag that down to about eight or nine percent you can see if I drag in a similar way you can see how we're only making a very small change to the tones but then if I drag it right up to about 74 and then if I drag again you can see how we're able to create a much longer smudge between those tones. If we like we can also change the painting mode here from normal we can choose dark and light and hue saturation color or luminosity we can also toggle the brush panel on by clicking this icon to give us many 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 more options to customize our brush tip with options like scattering and shape dynamics and we can just toggle that off by clicking this icon here and we also have this option here for finger painting which can be quite fun if I toggle that on you can see how if I drag with the tool again how we apply a color and this color is set by choosing a foreground color here so I've just chosen a yellow tone there then each time I click and drag we're applying a blob of that yellow paint you can see how that works so you can see how the smudge tool can give you lots of nice painterly effects it can also be used on layer masks where it can be quite effective when blending in different tones so there's lots of uses for the smudge tool.